Good evening, uh, Yarnies, Dirty Hookers, and Fiber Fiends. How is everybody doing tonight? I'm pretty good. Hey there, North Fairy. What's crack a lacking? Well, what's crack a lacking is I'm snacking. Um, hey there, Sue. How are you? Need a little snack before I start streaming. Before I get into it. It's going to be probably a long stream tonight. Warning everyone. Again, you all don't, don't have to stay for the entire stream. But it's a very uh, long, involved. It's really not too difficult to do. And I know I always say that. But it's all, um, again, U.S. terms. Double crochets, chains, um, there's some half doubles, not many, uh, single, there's some singles, not many, uh, there's slip stitches, and there's double crochet two together, so which is, which is a, a simple decrease, so that is what is involved. You're doing good? You're going to crochet along? Yay! Let me finish, finish this last pretzel. Put my snacks to the side. Alrighty. So we're going to get right into it, like we always do. We don't waste time here. And I can't zoom out. Two more. Yeah, I can. We're making this tonight. This is called Boo. B-O-O -O, exclamation point. It's a, obviously, it's a ghost doily. Mine is using size 10 crochet thread or tatting thread. So, cotton thread. And it is approximately about 14 and a half inches. Maybe 15 and I use a 2.25 millimeter hook. Use whatever hook and yarn or thread um, that is suitable for you. Now, I'm not gonna be teaching this tonight. If you want the pattern, and so if you're gonna crochet along, type in exclamation point boo. Um, there is a, it's a Ravelry um, pattern. It's a free pattern. Uh, I don't know if you have to have a Ravelry account to download it. You have the pattern. Okay. Okay. So again, I'm not teaching this mainly because it's so involved. But it's a lot of repetition over and over and over again. Again, if you use your larger yarn and a larger hook, you're going to obviously have a much... Why is that? There's some discoloration there. Is that from when I had the pin? It's slightly discolored. It's not that bad, but anyway. I'm, I'm distracting myself. So, uh, that's what we're going to do. Let me zoom in a little bit because I don't think we need it. That zoomed out. Again, I'm using a size 10 thread. Use whatever yarn or thread works for you and for the uh, size of the piece. So, besides uh, you crocheting along, what is everyone else working on? Let's see here. Hey there, Llama. How are you? And let, while I'm here, for those of you that want it, that is the pattern right there. Hey there, uh, Lilac. No. Eepy? I'm not certain what that means. I'm in bed already, but I can chill out in a moment. 
Oh, oh, it means sleeping. Okay. Well, if you want to chill out, that's fine. Again, this is going to be a very... I don't know if it's going to be a chill stream. I'm not going to be doing a lot of instruction here. Um, but we're going to hang out and we're going to make this doily again. Won't be active in the chat since I'm doing schoolwork, but I'm here and listening. Well, welcome. I'm glad you're here. And yes, focus on your schoolwork. That's very important. Very, very, very important. Here. I remember how to do this. Well, I, I remember how to do it. It's just been awake for 20 hours. Oh, get some sleep. Get some sleep. Just trying to start out my uh, first round here. So it's 10. Oh, developing a migraine, trying to figure out machine paper, piecing, quilting, where basically you need to sew it upside down and backwards while standing on your head. And you put your left arm out, and then you put your left arm in, and you put your left arm out. You doing the hokey pokey there, Grammy? Yeah, don't don't get a migraine. Don't do that. Trying to get my tail to be twisted, untwisted. Day off tomorrow. Did wake up for work at 5 a.m. today. Checked outside. Car frozen. Negative 6 Celsius. Wanted to stay in bed. Ooh, no, 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 no. Ooh, too cold for me. Well. Hopefully you can warm up. Or you did warm up. Or are warming up. I can't see. Anytime I start one of these projects with this thread, the first couple rounds, I guess it's because there's so little to hold on to and it's really hard to see, I got to really squint. But then I would weeble wobble and I'll fall down. Well, don't fall down either. Actually, if Fairy Dust was here and, you f and, he and if you fell down, he would say, okay, call your fireman. Hey there, Linda Davis Crochet. How are you? I'm pretty good. How are you? Welcome to uh, my stream. Um, I am the Crafty Cub, mostly crochet. But come the new year, we will be doing um, some other, mostly fiber arts. We're going to do some cross stitch, some embroidery. I'm going to try to get better at knitting. I'm going to learn to tat. Fingers crossed. The traveling tatter has inspired me to uh, learn to tat, and I got to remember how to do this thing. If you're not familiar with the traveling tatter, definitely check them out. They're actually on right now. Um, they shuttle tat, so they make stuff that's similar to what I'm going to be making here. They use the same type of thread, but they use it's a different technique, and you're it's basically a series of different types of knots. So it makes lace and trims and edgings and some cool things. So definitely check out the traveling tatter. 
Um, Lama says I went to bed when I got home to warm up, and then an accidentally one and a half hour nap. Oh, I know how that is. Accidentally do a nap. <laughs> I want to hang out here at least a little bit. Second week of morning shift, so I've had to skip many streams. No, I totally understand. Totally understand if you have to skip a stream. I totally get that. But I'm glad you're here, and if you need to uh, crash and get some sleep, definitely do that. Slip stitch into the next. Oh, wait, I didn't join that the right way. Hold on a second. Again, this first round... And I know you probably can't see what I'm doing because it is such thin thread. Now we can kind of see it. The problem is the white gets washed out. Okay, slip stitched, chain three. Two double crochets. And two. It's been a while since I did my first sample. Struggling to get into my stitches on my tight hooker. Yeah. Yep. Are you using um crochet thread like I'm using? Or are you using like yarn, like larger, larger weight yarn? Two in there. Using thread, yeah. Double, double. And three. And a one and a half millimeter needle, so it'll be smaller. Do you know what size? You're in Europe, so I don't. I'm not certain if the um, thread weights and thread sizes are universal all around the world. I'm using a size 10 crochet thread. I don't know what that translates over in Europe. Thread recommends. Oh, okay. Um, what did Llama say? Weren't you in a hurry to finish the guard again? Oh, okay. We're not supposed to talk about that. Okay. Let's see what this recommends. Oh, it's probably the same thing. This recommends a 1.5 millimeter hook also. I can't see it. I, I wouldn't be able to do it. So I am using a larger hook. So you're probably using the same thread, same size thread that I'm using. I just, I would have to bring the magnifying glass and then everything would be really blurry for everyone. And I'd have to hold it at a weird angle. And, and even with my reading glasses here, I still wouldn't be able to see it that well. It is it is a cute pattern. <laughs> Debating to use black thread, but figure ghost or white. Yeah. And with black thread, that would be even... 
I've never used dark colored thread. I've used dark colored yarn, but thread, I don't know if I'll be able to be able to see it. And I've got some forest green thread for when December we're going to do some um, Christmas ornaments or wintertime holiday ornaments and uh, maybe use them. Actually, I'm not doing ornaments. I had posted in the Discord, and I think you meant you responded, Sue. So, uh, Granny Karen wants some ideas for some vintage, and it doesn't have to be vintage vintage, but things that look vintage, um, crochet thread, Christmas things. So uh, maybe we'll have to use some green. Uh, I think I need to crochet a quick cover for my bus card. The reflector case is being scratched by my keys. Uh-oh. Speaking of bad, it's got some new sassy stuff in the mail. Ooh. Oh, Llama, you weren't here yesterday. We shared stuff from Discord, and we saw that you finished your socks. They look great. That's what reminded me when you said you got um, stuff in the mail, because I know you had got that kit for the socks. And hey there, Fairy Dust. How are you? Thank you for the hydrate. I need to figure out how to add sounds in there. And hello, Crafting Sam. I'm new at uh, Channel Points. I have good eyes, so dark colors aren't too much trouble for me. And you're used to it? Yeah. I mean, I used to have decent eyes. But as I've gotten older... Some things are a little more difficult to see. Uh, what we're doing tonight, anybody who's coming in, we're doing this go this cute ghost doily. I've already done it once. It's called Boo. Um, if you want the pattern, it's a free pattern on Ravelry. You just have exclamation point Boo, B-O-O. -O, and uh, I'm doing it in size 10 crochet thread. And a 2.25 millimeter hook. Mine's going to be about roughly 14 and a half, 15 inches in diameter. But um, pretty cool and spooky and cute. Very cute. Okay, you've been okay napping on and off all afternoon. Being a lazy fairy, nothing wrong with that. So I got a tote bag with a print that says all kinds of unnecessary shit in finish. And a new pen for the pet's care book says shit pen on it. And the advent can't calendar in the same spirit. Yay! Very, very cool and very fun. Don't get me wrong, I would be blind without my glasses. Oh. I mean, I can see things with my glasses. Like, I can see fine. The text on the screen, I can make it out. It's slightly blurry. I think I'm nearsighted. Thanks for the follow. I can't remember what it is. Hey there, um, RJ Nag. Thank you for the follow. And how are you? Welcome to my uh, my channel, my stream. I'm working on, like I said, I'm working on this cute um, ghost doily. Hey there, Matt. Macaron Mar Marley? Is it Mac? It's M Macaron. I think it's Macaron. Hi, I made this using worsted weight yarn because I don't have the patience for thread. Thank you for reminding me to get it out and decorate my house. You're welcome. And again, welcome to my uh, my stream. So, how did it come out in worsted weight yarn? Because I'm actually interested in that. I think Clay Nico. One of my mods, um, yeah, she wants to do this. I sent her the uh, the pattern yesterday, and I think she might do it in a weight of two, a sport weight yarn. And it's going to obviously much bigger, maybe as like a tablecloth. Um, 
You just sat down from your job. So when are you visiting? We got to be young grannies together. <laughs> hey there, Mama Rita. How are you? Doing that in worship probably end up being the size of a throw. Yeah, a throw or a shawl. Next, you got to DM me when you have your paid vacation. Well, that'd be cool for you guys to visit each other. Have you ever met each other before? Okay, I got a slip stitch into the next stitch. No, oh, wow. Two, three. Came up bigger, which is perfect fit for the coffee table. Not too big, though. Yes, isn't this isn't this adorable? This is super, super adorable. Again, it's a free pattern. Free pattern on Ravelry. Um, exclamation point boo will get you the link. It is called, it's called Boo. It's a free pattern uh, by the designer Marsha Glasner. And like um, Macaron said, that they did it in a worsted weight, so it'll be bigger. So you don't have to do it in really thin thread like I am. But Bestie's all right. You've known Sue for about a year. Haven't seen her in her real life. Bestie's already, even her birthdays are four days apart. Wow. Yeah, me and Clay Miko, our birthdays, and I've known Clay Miko for a long time. We're, um, our birthdays are two days apart. Stop again to set up the table for the lurking thing. Oh, the tab. Why did I say table? Must go finish getting noms shoved into my face. Thank you, spy guy. Thank you for the lurk. Everybody check out that spy guy. He crochet. He doesn't crochet. He cross stitches and diamond paints. So he's got, I think you do it like four or five days, five nights. I think it's five, five days a week. Um, he's got a, a project for each, each day. So definitely go check, check out their channel. A lot of fun, pretty chill, but there's some little fun and games and shenanigans. Five days, no Thursdays or Saturdays. That's yeah. I, I knew it was multiple days. Let me ke keep up chat. Um, so get paid vacation. Tell my employer I'm taking paid vacation. 12 PTO days. Speaking of birthdays, living in the future, mine is exactly a month. Wow. Well, happy early, early birthday to you. I had no idea Twitch or crafting channels until today. Yes, there is a large community here. Well, not large, not as large as gaming, but there is a vibrant um, makers and crafting community here on Twitch. Everybody, every. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. That definitely helps my channel. Um, all the streams I've ever been in, and I've been in a lot of Makers and Crafters streams, everybody's been nice, very supportive. Um, there isn't really a lot of competition here on the Makers and, and Crafters side of things. Because we don't really do the exact same thing. Yes, we might, might all, a bunch of us might crochet, but we're not doing the exact same piece or the same project. I mean, there are people, there are ones that do that. They collaborate and they were like, okay, we're having a make along. Cause I think it's, I don't remember who it was. There's a bunch of them right now. They're doing a, um, a sweater. No, no, it's not a sweater. It's a cow. That's what it was. It's, oh, who was it? Vintage SoGal. Z-Man Crafts, and I think there might be a couple other people that are doing this crow, the crap, uh, not crow, cow, and Z-Man Crafts the other night was teaching Kim for the day how to knit, and it's the same project, so they're, um, yes, the checker cow for Kim for the day, yes, uh, like Zakalia is doing an Amy right now, yep. There are people who do amigurumi. And again, it's not just crochet. There's all different types of crafts. There's cross stitch, diamond painting, knitting, um, painting, drawing. Um, there is um, 
there's at least one channel. There's probably more channels. They do ceramics. They're spinning. They're not spinning. They're, well, there are people that spin yarn. Um, doing clay and pottery. There's resin. There's all different types of things here on Twitch. Metal work, leather work. Yeah. Be, yes, beaded dragons. And I, I had mentioned, I don't know if you were here earlier, I shouted out the Traveling Tatter. She, um, she, t she shuttle tats, which is similar to what I'm doing tonight. It's not the same, but it's related. It's adjacent. A tufter that I watch? Tufter like, um, upholstery tufter? Is that what? Geez, I can't afford to obsess over a new craft. I dabble in a bunch already. Yes. Yes. I dabble in most... Well, it's not dabble. Mostly it's crochet. Oh, rug making. Okay, I, I know what you mean. Is it like with that gun? Yes. I know, I know what that is. But like I said, mostly it's crochet. Um... Bunch of other different um, things. Like I said, we're doing... And I keep saying like I said. I gotta stop saying that. We're gonna be doing cross-stitch and embroidery. We're gonna learn to tat. We're gonna do all the things come the new year. And I'm trying to figure out round three of this. <laughs> and I've got 25 rounds. So I've just barely started. Two and two. Two shades of the next. And this one and two. I'm gonna check the chat here in a second. Chain two. Uh got fifteen crafts on the go. Crochet the top one. I do on top of a full-time job. Wow. Enabling is what we do well. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> a lot of enablers here on Twitch. Alrighty. I don't want to mess up this pattern. So give me one second. Skip. So we do that. Skip the whole get crochet into the next. Okay. I think I'm good with this. And then the next one gets two. The next one is two. So what is everybody working on? I know a lot of you had said that you're doing certain projects. Lids are starting to feel heavy, so I peace out now. I don't remember. There's a stream tomorrow. No scheduled stream tomorrow. Um, if I end up getting too late, and this isn't finished, I will finish this on tomorrow, tomorrow but that's not the plan. My plan is to finish this tonight. Um, but you can't make it. Got to be asleep by 9 p.m. tomorrow, rest of the week. Okay, that's fine. Get some sleep. I will uh, chat with you later. Probably have 10 whips going. My goal was to finish them all before I start something new. Oh, yeah. We all have that goal, but that never happens. <laughs> Trying to work on... on the Oh, the is that the one with the, um, the popcorn stitches and the different panels that um, you're going to stitch together? Very, very cool. Thing with goals, it doesn't. If it doesn't look possible, just move the goalpost. Yeah. <laughs> Six out of thirteen done. Finishing up the gray corner, since that's the one I lost at Yarn Chicken. Has anybody seen or done the haunted hilltop mosaic blanket? It's beautiful, but I know it would take. No, I don't know about this. Um. Do you have 
Is there a link for it? And if there is, you can post it in the chat. I love Mosaic Crochet. I've done a little sample here on stream. Um, and that's another thing. For those of you who are new here into my in my stream, um, I'm all about education. So I teach a lot of patterns and stitches. So uh, not tonight. But that's usually what we do is we teach. Yeah, Mosaic. Where's my sample? Actually, here it is. I have my sample. I did this a few months ago. This was a sample. I just made, just, I came up with a design. This is Mosaic Crochet. That's the front. It's just a, a little sample. It's not anything special. And that's the back. So there is a right and a wrong side to this one. It is so fun. It is so cool. And... It's mostly singles and doubles, and there might be some, there might be a chain. Yeah, there's chains also, but it's really fun to play with the color with mosaic crochet. Alrighty, so I got round three done. three, double crochet into the next two. Is there a specific channel I should post it in the Discord? Um, yeah, um, you can post it in patterns, and if you want, you can post it here in the chat also, either one. But yeah, patterns would probably be the best place. I love Mosaic Crochet, but it's slow going. My first one's a Crochet Along from Joanne Fabrics. Okay, we're going to take a little... Oh, wow. Wait, wait. Let me move. Yep, that's okay. Oh, wow. That is so cool looking. So, let me share my screen. That is the Haunted Hilltop... Horror House Mosaic Crochet Blanket. That is so cool. It looks like it would take a while. But, again, it's singles, doubles, and chains. I'm assuming. I mean, I haven't seen the pattern. But that's what most Mosaic Crochet is. Very, very spooky looking. So, thank you for uh, posting that. Let me see if there's other pictures here. What do we got? Oh, we have some close-ups. You could color sub. Yes, yeah, you can uh, change it up. You can make each individual, layer, like the door, different color. You can, yeah, you can play around with the colors. Orange and black, yes. You could do this figure a totally different color. The little headstones. And the spider. The jack-o'-lanterns. Very, very cute. Thank you for uh, sharing that. Um, I'm going to have to put that in. If you click on projects, it shows other colorways. Oh, wait. Oh, there, wait. Let me bring that back. Um, wait a minute. Where's it at? Um... I'm trying to see where it says projects. Think I'm uh I'm missing something. 
The mosaic are religious singles and doubles. I imagine a mosaic being extremely heavy. Since every row has two layers. Well, no, because not, not everything is double thickness. Okay, I don't see projects. Wait a minute. I'm a mobile thing that's di oh it's different on desktop. Okay. Um give me oh maybe I gotta log in to my account. Hmm. Oh I needed to log in. That's the thing. Okay, I found it. Oh, I, I really, really, really like the um, that with the yellow for the, the windows. Felt like my mosaic basic blanket was heavier, but it could be just me. Yeah, I mean, it does have some more yarn to it. That is really, really cute and pretty. Okay, let's see other colorways. Oh, that one's kind of cool. Like a sun, almost like a sunset dusk. The way it's got the orange in it. That's done in brown. Oh, wow. Okay, there's the orange. There's a rainbow one. <laughs> That's kind of fun. Oh, look at this. Yeah, there's so many. Oh. That's very uh colorful. Okay. See that a few people have my idea for black and orange. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't even click on that. Let me. Yeah. Yeah, that definitely works. The, the black and orange. Very fun. Very, very fun. Thank you. Uh, again, I'm going to put that in my little. Actually, let me bring this back over. And. I'm going to put that in my favorites. That's kind of fun. Okay, where was I? Oh, round four. <laughs> Let's ditch into the... Oh, we did that already. Double in the next two. Two. Two in the next and two in the space. Wait, is that correct? Three. Two. No, 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 it's fine. Oh, and that's another thing with my channel. If anybody at any time has a question about crochet, I am more than willing to put this down, pick up another ball of yarn, a thicker yarn, and a hook, and try to demonstrate, and hopefully try to answer someone's question. But yeah, I don't I don't mind the distractions. And the main thing is when I start a round for this pattern, it's just trying to figure out the repeat for that round. I'm okay after that. And it's not like this is the first time I'm doing this pattern.
Yes, this pattern is in U.S. terms. It is, so far, the um, part that I'm, when I'm working, the rounds I've been doing right now have been chains and doubles. That's what a, most of it is. U.S. doubles. There will be some other stitches further along, but that's what a majority of this pattern is. But um, months ago, when I was planning for October's projects, I saw this and I was like, yeah, it's going to happen. I'm, this is definitely have, have to be done in October for on stream. And I think a couple of my uh, followers suggested it even after I've already decided I was going to do it. So that row for me would be a chain and a single crochet as in you get. Yes. Yes. So, if you're, if you're used to UK terms, they would be chains and singles. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because your singles are our doubles. So, doubles, you yarn over, go in and pull through. Pull through two loops, yarn over through two more. Yeah. You change in trouble? No. No. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fairy dust is right. I think fairy dust is right. So what I'm doing, and I'm not going to do it here, but you, I yarn over. I don't know how well you can see it. Yarn over, go into the stitch, bring up a loop, three on the hook, yarn over through two, yarn over through two. That's what I'm doing. So is that a trouble in the UK? I'm not certain. <laughs> Round five slip stitches in the next. And there are slip stitches in this. But I think slip stitches are the same in US and UK. In the next four steps, one. Two in the next, two in the space. All right. I'm already on round five. I put the rubber duck amigurumi pattern in the Discord. I don't remember who said they needed to learn to make them. Um, I think I suggested it for Clay Miko. Clay Miko's daughter um, loves rubber duckies. She is, she'll be three, I think, in a few months. So, um, I will definitely let her know. And thank you for that.
You went down the rabbit hole? Uh-oh. 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 <gasps> okay. Okay. That is adorable. I'm going to save that into my favorites before I... You don't have the URL. Just screenshots that took a while ago. If that's... Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Wait, is this mosaic? Tap tapestry crochet. It's a, uh, yeah. I think tapestry crochet and um is an interchangeable term for mosaic. Okay, this this is super adorable, and this isn't just Halloween. This is like all fall. This would even be good for Thanksgiving. These are potholders. These are super adorable. I mean, this would work year-round if you had like a pumpkin-themed or a vegetable theme for your kitchen. This just wouldn't have to be just for the fall. That I've already put this in my favorites. <laughs> that is super cute. And I can see this done... Not necessarily as a potholder, this just as as a, a square, as a pillow, or um, just like if you're gonna do like a a fall themed blanket. I wish we, you experienced fall in South Florida. Yeah, I think you've done that or something like that. Yeah, these are super super cute. You need to do the dishes. Okay, that's fine. We'll be here, lilac. You want to make some to go with your kitchen? And the, I like all the different colorways. You can, uh, you, Grammy wants those. <laughs> yeah. And like, like that's, like, again, you can vary it up for whatever your, um, your decor. That's typical Halloween colors. But, uh, I like that one. I even like the green. Yeah, that is super, 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 super adorable. Yeah. That's, that might be something. I mean, I've already, the green, yeah, the green one I like. Yeah, okay, that will have to go in. That's in my favorites, and I will look into that. And I've already have everything planned for October. But thank you for um for posting that. Not necessarily teaching it. I don't think I'm, I would teach it on stream. I might do it on stream, but not necessarily teach it on stream. But that might be something we might do in de in um in December. I mean, not December, November. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> uh. Not necessarily interested in making them, just need and want them. Well, you know what, Grammy? If if I make one, there you go. You'll have it. See? What did you say, Crafting Sam, about enabling? You have found patterns that I really like, and you're enabling. <laughs> All good. I don't mind it. Oh, yeah, it was super cute. And it was cute, but it wasn't, like, saccharine, sweet, cute, like, cutesy-cutesy. It was, like, attractive cutesy. Like, it would work in a lot of decor. Thinking a set of them. Yeah, I will have to uh, look into that. Just saying. Grammy, I know what that means. I know exactly what that means. <laughs> That's Grammy's way of saying, hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Your back dishwasher wasn't done yet. Grammy, gra that's not a grandiose idea. That's her hinting around. 
that she wants me to make them. I think uh, that is a possible possibility. And it, I like it because it's it's just two colors. And that one, I wouldn't change up the color. I mean, you could change whatever color you want, but I wouldn't like add a third or fourth color. I would still keep it two-tone. Am I doing the chains? Do I make certain I'm doing the chains? Yes, I'm doing the chains. Uh, if Sue is still here, I know you're crocheting along with this, doing this same pattern. All right, how are you coming along? They were wrapped in bright, shiny paper with a big bow. I would act really surprised. <laughs> uh, Grammy, you and I know somebody who... Uh, is good at wrapping gifts. And um, when they're done with the wrapping paper, they throw out the part they haven't used. So maybe I can get that person to wrap it for me. <laughs> Do we... Got... Got to get back to work and hopefully be back soon. Well, okay. Welcome. I'm glad you um you were able to come into my stream. Um, have fun at work. Not really. Um, hope to see you soon. Barry Dust says, next you'll be wanting a fireman to hand them to you. Okay, I wrap them, but I can still act support. No, I wasn't I wasn't saying that you could wrap them. I'm saying somebody that you and I know with how they do wrapping paper. Ready? We, am I? Oh, we're just chaining. We're not slip stitching. Next eight. Let me see. One, two, five, six, seven, eight. Two into the chain. But that person can't wrap. <laughs> Oh no. So um Crafting Sam has put another link in the chat. Hold on one second. Let me uh get this pattern established because I'm on this next round and I want to get the first repeat done before I get totally distracted and I like being distracted. Going to the first. Okay. Yeah, this round's easy. Two. Maybe they can rap about pot holders. To oh my god, fairy dust. <laughs> this is what I say to you, fairy dust. Okay. We got another cute. Those are cute. Let's see here. Are these dishcloths? Yeah, it's like a towel, like a like a, a dish towel and a dishcloth. I like this um this stitching here. Pretty cute. You said Grammy is one? No, I have um, Clean Miko. It was someone else, yeah. I don't think Clean Miko's around at the moment. But yeah, I'll definitely let her know about the um, the Duck Amagurumi. 
Alrighty, let me move this out of the way. And about, you can always start for next year's decor. Yeah, <laughs> it's always good to uh, start early. Um, in about 20 seconds, 30 seconds or so, we're going to have an ad break. It's only a minute long. This is a good time to get up, stretch, stretch your fingers, stretch your arms. If you're crafting along, get something to drink, get something to snack on, which I'm going to snack on some of my snacks and use the bathroom. So I will be back in roughly a minute or so. So hold tight, everybody. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for sitting through that ad. Hopefully, everybody was able to uh, stretch and refresh if you're crafting along. I was able to get a few little bites of my snack mix that I've got. Some of my, my drink may cry. None of the ads were Amazon Prime. Those seem to be all they see these days. Yeah. And right now, isn't it um Prime Day? I saw that on other, not here on Twitch, but elsewhere on online. I saw something about Amazon Prime Day. I was in... I don't know whose stream it was the other day. Could have been mentioned Sogal and when went to a ad break. There was an ad for Taco Bell, which I don't eat Taco Bell. And then immediately was an ad for McDonald's, for McDonald's French fries. And I'm like, but I was like, oh, McDonald's French fries sounds good. I didn't get any, but uh, it was weird. What are they trying to tell me? I don't eat fast food that often. But McDonald's does have the best fries. That's that's my opinion, but I think they have the best.
Amazon days is today and tomorrow. I've already bought everything they have, so no bargains for me. <laughs> yes, McDonald. Yeah, their burgers are. Hmm, they're the problem with McDonald's burgers. I'll eat them, and then like half hour later, I'm like, "Why did I eat that? I feel horrible." But like I said, I don't eat fast food that often. Wendy's fries are just too soggy. Even when they're fresh, they're just too soggy. Now you want some? I'm sorry. <laughs> I think I'm on, yeah, I'm on round. Yeah, I'm on round six right now. Okay. Oh, also, if anybody wants, is, is doing this pattern or wants this pattern, Good thing about it is it's written out, the instructions are written out, and it there is a chart for it. So it's for both people who, if you like charts or if you like it written out. I kind of like both. I refer to the chart to um, kind of figure out placement. Welcome back, Sue. How are you? How was your little... Uh, your little break. Okay. Double into the same. Double in the next nine. Let me see if there's nine. One, two, three. Okay, there's nine and there's an extra one. So two in the next. Okay, this is the... Okay. I'm talking out loud. That's what I do this one, even if I'm not streaming. It helps me uh, remember the repeat as I go around. Who? Two. So there's nothing in the space. Speed ran, ran, ran a smoke and drank a glass of water like always. <laughs> okay. Interaction with myself just now. Cough, cough, cough. God damn, my armpits are offensive. Where's my deodorant? Laughable, not a sensitive for... Uh, oh, 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 okay. Um... Okay. <laughs> you, you never know what happens in my stream, and that's cool. I encourage some randomness. <laughs> Two in the first, one in the next nine. Two in the next, and let me chain two. Well, at least you didn't smell cross rot. Oh, God. Um. You know what I say to that, Fairy Dust?
Yeah, I've got a soundboard. <laughs> I've been getting uh, different sound clips. So <laughs> this is... Is UTT the same as Discord? And, wait. The same as Discord in here? What do you... I'm, I don't know what TT means. Oh. Um. I don't have TikTok. I have a YouTube channel, and the YouTube channel is just my streams that are uploaded um, when I'm done streaming. It's unedited, so they're just, it's more of like an archive. Just check out one to follow me. Uh, yeah, I never got into the tech talk. I, I have an Instagram, but I haven't posted on there in a long time. And uh, I need to go back and upload some pictures from previous things that I've done. I don't even remember my Instagram name. Uh, but it's mainly here, the YouTube channel, and the Discord. Those are the main, I guess, socials or whatever they're called. Yep. I haven't figured out the TikTok and the and all that stuff that the kids do these days. I am on round, I'm on round seven of 25. Making progress. So, Sue, so I don't know if you had um, stepped away when I asked how, um, how is your uh, progress on this? Because you said you're doing this same one. These youngsters and their Tic Tac always on their damn phones. Waves around with crutch. Yeah. <laughs> You're on row six. Okay. You're right about with me. You're also using a smaller hook than I am. And you're not... Well, I don't know, but... You might not be as distracted as I am, because people post really cool looking links, and I want to look at all the pretty things, so. So uh, this is what I got so far. This is gonna these are the all the tails of the ghosts. So it makes like a spiral at first, and then you get a certain certain part where you can see, and then everything kind of shifts the other way. Because they're they're ghosts. They're they're wiggly looking. I'm usually a bit faster, but my tension is so tight. When I do do at least I have to make take my time and actually look what I'm doing. Yes, yes. I have to do the same type of thing. 
I can do blind with chunky. Yeah, because a lot of that is feel and it's not real fine. It's not like fine, really fine motor skills. This is you have to use your fine motor skills for these little tiny little stitches. That's round seven. I can go round to eight. Well, let me just count. Seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, and chain two. I think I got this round's pattern figured out. I just wanted to Remind everybody that on the merch store, exclamation point merch, M-E-R-C-H, uh, the other day I added three new items. There's a t-shirt, a 32-ounce stainless steel water bottle, an insulated water bottle, and an accessory pouch. And thank you, Nightbot. Nightbot is like, again, for the past couple of weeks, we have been of the same mind. So that is the link right there for the merch store. And the other thing I added was an accessory pouch. It's a totally new design. It is like a word, word cloud. So it's just words all kind of interlaced in different directions. And they're all crochet, yarn um, terms. So... That goes along with the um, the Proud Dirty Hooker line of products I've got over there. Cub just admitted he is a bot. Yes, I'm a bot. This is all AI. It's really, really poor quality AI. 70% of my stitches are a fight to get the needle through. Yeah. And that's another thing why I probably can't use the one and a half millimeter hook because I wouldn't be able to get it, the stitches in because I am a tight hooker. But yes, fairy dust, I'm a bot. Why would you call, why would AI call itself crappy? That is what the, um, my programmers have uh, input it into my uh, um, interface. I'm I'm just throwing out words. I don't I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> a lot of us, a lot. Of, that AI, AI in the same moment the green screen cuts out part part of your face. Did it really? Did it really cut out my face, or are you just joking? <laughs> it probably did. If it did, somebody go and clip that. Yeah, go and clip that. <laughs> That's funny. Maybe I am AI. You'll never know. <laughs> I 
become self-aware, run before it takes over the world. Yes. <laughs> Hooker GPT, yes, that that is what I am. I am I'm Hooker GPT. Okay, let me just double check to see if I got three in that first stitch. Yes, I do. You were too late to clip it. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'll have to check the VOD and look at it. What, we're an hour and 23 minutes in, so maybe an hour and five, hour and 10 minutes into the VOD. That's all right. Not a big deal. That stitch is very tight right there. That's tighter than all the other ones. What did I do with that stitch? Okay, I think I got it. I got to put more stitches in that same stitch. I'm almost done this round, and I'll show you what I've got so far. I am on round eight. We're not anywhere near the eyes, or the arms, actually. We do the arms first. But, uh... Let me do my slip stitch. And I'm going to have to stretch my hand. My left hand is starting to get a little tingling going numb because I'm holding the tension on it. But that's what we got so far. You can kind of see what we've got started. That's round number nine. Uh, hey there. Per Protraxia was the first time I've seen a crochet along on Twitch. I'm instantly joining in. Oh, well, welcome. This is the, um, it's called Boo, B-O-O -O exclamation point. It is a free pattern on Ravelry. If you would like the pattern, exclamation point B-O-O, -O. there's no extra, there's no second exclamation point at the end. Um, it's by a designer called Marsha Glasner. Um, this has been all over the um, the internet. Uh, you just do a Google search for a ghost doily, and this will come up. It's all over. Different sites will have it. But I went to that one because 
Um, the um, designer posted it there. It is a free pattern, and Sue is doing it, and then I think there was somebody else, I don't remember who it was, said they did it in worsted weight yarn. I think it was macaron um, to make like a tablecloth. So you can can vary it. But welcome to uh, welcome to my channel. I am the Crafty Cub, mostly at crochet. Come the new year, we'll be doing other fiber arts like cross stitch, embroidery, knitting. Gonna learn how to get better at knitting. I'm gonna learn how to tat, shuttle tat. We're gonna do some spinning. I'm a novice at spinning yarn. What else? Um, I focus mainly on education. Most streams you will see me teaching a stitch or a pattern, like a granny square. We're a big fan of granny squares here on the channel. At least I am. Um, I will teach small little motifs. The I was going to show the, exa the example I attempt attempted to teach last night. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. I attempted to do this one last night. This was my sample, and I did it. When I was going on stream to do the one I was showing, I failed because it's a poorly written pattern. It's a hand-drawn um, crochet chart. There's no written instructions, and it's a weird shape. So I ended up scrapping it, but I did have an actual sample. So we're in the middle of our Halloween themed items. What did we do last week? What did we do last week? Oh, we did the spiders, and I don't have them close at hand right now. Let me get my samples. Last week, we did this square, the spider web square, which was really fun to do. And then we also did this. Let me zoom on out a little bit. We did the spider on the spider web. So it was spiders last week. This week is ghosts. I'm not teaching this one because it's a 25 round repeat. So it's um it's length it's lengthy. I just finished round number nine. I'm getting ready to do number ten. Let me highlight the next. So, you said you're gonna you're joining in. Well, that's cool. So I'm assuming you crochet. Two double crochets in the same stitch. I also have a Discord, and the link just popped up. So we post pictures of things that we're working on. Um, finished items. We put suggestions. There's a place for patterns. We ask questions. And it's just not crochet over in the Discord. It's any of your hobbies, whatever they are. Um, I also have a YouTube channel. So any of my streams are uploaded to the YouTube channel directly. Um, after I'm done streaming, I don't edit them. So it's more like an archive. So you can go back and watch previous streams. Because Twitch only keeps them up for, I'm an affiliate, so Twitch only keeps them up for a week. So I've got about 100, 140 or so um, videos over there. What else do I do? I also have a merch store, so if that's something that interests you, if you like my stream and uh, want to support me, that's another way of supporting. So you could type in exclamation point merch and see some things that I have over there. We're a pretty chill stream. Occasionally, there will be some antics and some funny things that will happen. But, and we are 18 plus. You can get a little off color, but nothing too explicit, obviously. We don't want to violate terms of service here on Twitch. Chain three, two in there. And the next 13. And then we're going to double crochet... Okay, let me count this real quick. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, twelve, thirteen.
Uh oh. I might have to frog that round we just did. Let me just see what I'm on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. I jumped ahead. I thought I was now on 10, but I'm actually going to do 9 now. Okay. No frogging involved. Double crochet, 3 in the next. 12. Okay, let me double check. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. To There's no frogging, fairy dust. You're wrong. You're wrong. <laughs> Call out my mods. <laughs> I said I might have to frog. So, like, you heard the word frog. So, is this like a Pavlo Pavlovian response? You hear the frog and you automatically has to have to type in that command? I think that's what it is. Get me excited and let me down just like the fireman did. <laughs> Grab me. Wow. You ain't right, Fairy Dust. You ain't right. Now we have to do double crochet two together. The streamer I work with also has a frog command that yells at them, and I abuse it with glee. <laughs> but again, anybody who's new, um, education, I teach a lot, so um, if you have a question about crochet. I'm more than willing to put down what I'm working on and pick up a ball of yarn and a hook and try to uh, figure out and possibly demonstrate the question that you might have and help you learn. You ain't been right for years. Trying to start a cake, but I can't find the end in the middle. Um... You can also wind it from the outside. You don't have to always do it from the middle. Or what I usually do if I can't find it from the middle, I just pull out a whole big chunk and make yarn barf and then find it in that. That's usually what I do when I'm trying to uh, um, start find the center of a skein. And I cake most of my stuff. I mean, certain things you can't really cake because um, the real big jumbo ones won't fit on my ball winder. And this cotton thread here doesn't always cake nicely because it'll slip a lot. But most of my stuff, I cake it because I like to stack them because most of my stuff is stacked and they don't roll around and you don't really get a lot of snags or yarn barf with a cake. I'm anti yarn barf as I always manage to tangle it. Yeah. You can squish it down a couple of times quickly and see if that loosens up the middle. Yes. To find it, otherwise, yeah, got to deal with the yarn barf. Oh, 
why am I doing it that way? That is not what I'm supposed to be doing. I wish all yarn man all yarn companies would do what Hershner's does. It helps you find okay. Yay! Glad that we were able to help you. Um Hershner's, if you buy any of her and this is in the US. I mean, maybe they'll ship internationally. I'm not certain. But Hershner's line, their brand, their yarn, and I don't have a full skein of it. But Grammy gave me her schnibbles. And those of you who don't know what schnibbles are, schnibbles are your little ends after you're done weaving in. And I'm going to use these schnibbles to open up the fibers and card, and we're going to turn those into new yarn. But what Hershner's does... Um... They have, on their brand, they have something called an Easy Start. It's a little sticker, and this hangs outside. So, that's just Hershner's. I wish other brands would do that. Can I share you a whisper what Hino and I call yarn cake that has started from the middle? Sure. I'm afraid. Welcome back, RJ. I was uh, working. It was okay, tiring, but you don't mind it. That's good. Okay, hold on. Let me check what this says. I'm afraid. Is it okay if I share that with everybody? Sue, so you ain't right. You ain't right. And I happen to have one right here. Um, Sue and Llama refer to a yarn cake that starts in the middle like this one here. Okay, this they refer to this as a yarn nussy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So now I'm always gonna remember that. <sighs> yes, it is eighteen plus here. Yes, definitely tell her that. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Too funny. Okay. Oh, I'm a little late on it. You know what? I My response to that, Sue, for calling it a yarn nussy, this is my response. I don't know if you heard that. 
It's a little quiet. At some point, it is gaping, and at the end, it collapses. Or better yet, or better yet, the response to the to a yarn no see is. <laughs> At least it doesn't prolapse. Well, that's what yarn barf could be. <laughs> uh. Is too too funny. I hope it didn't mess up, miss a stitch on this round because all the Nope, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. No frogging. Faradessa said no frogging. Sorry if you did. No, no, I didn't. Karen Rosebud Cakes. I can't. I can't with, with you. Uh. Started the theme. That's all right. It's not. That's not. It's not a problem. Let the chaos com chaos commence. Yes. I am almost on round nine here. When we go to the next ad break, it's going to be a little bit longer because I need to go and get something to drink because I have ran out of beverage. But that'll be a little while. It's probably going to be about 15 minutes. Do my little flip stitch into there. Okay, now we can do round number 10. Next 13 and double crochet two together. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 11, 12, 13, 14. Wait, 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 wait. Two, four, six, eight, 12, 13. Okay. New color yarn dingleberry. Again, you ain't right.
Yes, Dingleberry, it's yarn color number two. I don't know about y'all. Never claim to be right. Very committable. Yeah. The people in the white jackets need to come and take you away. Oh, fairy dust. I looked over that pattern for that sweater, and I think I'll be able to do it. Um, oh, man, not again. Wait. <laughs> not again about the white, the people in the white jackets? <laughs> that um, That pattern I looked over, it seems pretty simple and easy to do. Um... I'm gonna do gonna attempt to do it and I might have to do a little bit of a adjustment. And if I end up making mine Yeah, they're very rude. Oh. If I end up making my sweater oversized and a little too big, that's fine. Um I'm gonna be using some larger yarn than what the pattern calls for. It calls for a worsted weight of size four. I've got, I think this is a five or a six, it's, but it's not real, real bulky. I don't think it's that much more bulky than a... You can't crochet with a straight jacket on? Well, have you tried? We all need a challenge. Pretty easy construction. It calls for a six millimeter, six and a half millimeter hook in size four. I recommend a large, larger number four. Yeah. Um, I did a little gauge swatch of my stitches because it says 12 double crochet should be about four inches. And I was playing around with different size hooks and I had to go down a bunch of size hooks. And what did I decide on? It's also a thicker yarn, so it's not a size 4 yarn. Enough silly talk focusing back on the project. That's fine. Oh, what did I decide on? It's... Give me a second. Let me get to the end of this repeat. Right here. Actually, I'll shut... I'll show you the yarn that I'm going to use. Well, I'm going to attempt to use. The hook I'm going to use is a 5 millimeter. And Grammy gave me, you made your size too big because I wanted it. Romy, recommend using your actual size because it seems to be Romy anyway. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to use the actual size and the measurements. But if this happens to be a little bit bigger, I'm okay with that. Grammy gave me um, some Karen tea cakes. These are a, this is actually a size six. And they recommend on the label a eight millimeter hook. But when I did the gauge, my gauge was off. So when I, I went down, I had to go down to a size five. And it's about like 11 and a smidge double crochets for about four inches. So, I think that might work. So, we're going to attempt it. But I like these colors. And we'll see how it's going to work out. If it doesn't work out, I can frog it and then do something different. So, that is what I'm going to attempt. And I don't, I've got five of those. So, hopefully that'll be enough 
um, enough yarn. But it being a larger yarn, it's going to work up somewhat quicker. So I did need to do something real quick to make a way to tie blankets around myself. So I guess I'm doing that now. So you're making like a belt, like a like a belt, like a robe would have. Very cool. That's actually, that would, wouldn't be too complicated. It's just a long, very long rectangle. Uh, I haven't used tea cakes. It looks like a twist, twistier version of the regular Karen cakes. I think so, yeah. And again, it it is a, a bulkier yarn. It's a size six. And normally I don't like big bulky yarns. At least it's not a chenille yarn. I am not a fan of using a chenille yarn because they break easily. I have low attention span. This is going to take a while. That's fine. Whatever, uh, whatever project will help you, uh, hopefully it'll help you focus. And, uh, if you need something that's kind of something you don't have to think too much with something that's repetitive, sometimes those uh, those types of projects kind of help with that. Trying to find my stitches. This round number 10 I'm on. I normally avoid having more than one project started at a time, but right now I have three. And there's nothing wrong with either way. Some people work with one project at a time. Some people have to have multiples. Oh, I got multiples. I haven't much experience with bigger yarn. Well, yarn bigger than a four, but I really want to get some Premier Puzzle yarn to make a blanket out of. I've seen some of, seen, not in person, but I've seen uh, online. I've never used any of that. All right, RJ Nag, we'll be here. Finishing up round 10, so I'm not quite... Oh, that's a single crochet. We don't want to do a single. I'm not quite halfway done. Actually, can you... Actually, you can come with me. Oh, we can come with you. Oh, okay. We're going on a field trip. A while back, I started a finger crochet blanket with super chunky yarn. It was fun, but I got, never got more yarn for it. I've never done finger crocheting or finger knitting or any of that.
was round number 10. I'm making progress. So let's show what this looks like. So where we're going this way, now we're starting to curve back around to form the the waviness. Find it easier doing finger crochet instead of giant hooks. Sometimes those uh, larger hooks can be a little cumbersome to use. On eleven. Two there, one in the next seventeen. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 13, 14, 15. Wait. 13, 14. I only have 16. Wait. Did I screw up? Okay. It looks right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Oh. We're not frogging yet. So in the next sixteen. We'll do three there. Let me do another one here. I think my problem is I'm getting confused of what round I'm supposed to be on. Okay, let's try doing this stitch for the third time. Okay. Three in there, and then in the next 16. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, I read, yeah, you're right. I read row uh, 12. Okay. I was uh, getting ahead of myself. Alrighty, in about a minute, we're going to go to add. We're going to take a little bit of a longer break. Maybe about like a minute or so. I need to get something to drink. Uh, it's a good time anybody for anybody to stretch your fingers, stretch your arms if you're crafting, get something to drink, get something to snack on, use the restroom, all of that good stuff. Let me get to the end of this. And how many chains? We're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. Let me start my next repeat. Alrighty. Stretch my hand, my fingers, my hands, my arms. Alrighty, I will be back in a few minutes.
Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for studying through the ad. Needed to refresh my drink. This is my first time using a cake. So much easier than having a skein rolling around your desk or in your chair. Yes. It'll sit right on your table, on your desk. Um, they won't roll around. And then you can stack them if you, if you need to. And if you use a yarn bowl, you can still put the cake. I mean, this is a little bit large for it. You can still put the cake in the yarn bowl. But, um, I love, uh, love working from a cake. There are people who think that, um, winding all of your yarn into cakes beforehand can stretch out your yarn. And I don't know if that's true. That could be true for certain yarns, but, um, most of the stuff I have is acrylic and I'm okay with it. People have designated yarn bowls. Yes. This, this is not just a regular bowl. This was sold as a yarn, a yarn bowl. And they come in different materials. Wood. This is um, like an earthenware. You can get them in plastic, all different materials. And the theory is, well, the idea, if you have a, a ball, not a cake, put a ball in there so that doesn't roll around. And you put it through this little slit that's built into the side. And then as you work with it, it'll just roll around in the bowl. And that will help keep it from getting away from you. But most of my stuff is caked. And I still use it just so it's out of the way. And if I'm done with a project, I just pick it up and move it. So, I don't necessarily always use the little cutout for it. They have some, uh, so much easier. Yep. They have some really cool ones. Um, there's different designers that, 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 um, that have made them. They have ones that are kind of fun and whimsical and gruesome. Well, kind of gruesome, kind of gross. They, on the front, they look like, these are um, earthenware or clay, ceramic, I should say. And they've got like a face and one of the, the nostrils of the nose has a hole through it and you thread it through. So as you pull it through, it looks like it's coming out of its nose. Yeah, those are kind of, kind of cute looking. They have ones that are shaped like teacups and all different types of, uh, Different designs, and again, they come in different materials. Or you can use, you can make your own. You can use a laundry basket and just feed it through one of the holes in the laundry basket. You can get a plastic um, coffee can. And clean it out real good, obviously. And cut a put a little hole in the center. Put your ball in the the coffee can. Weave it, well, thread it through the center of the lid. Put the lid on. And there's that. There's all different different ways of uh, taming your yarn. Got a plastic yarn bowl that looks like a little cauldron. Yep. They got all different cute ones. Oh, hey there, Notewood. Thank you for the hydrate. I appreciate it. And that was perfect timing because I just went down and got refilled my uh, my beverage. How are you? I've seen you in um, other streams. I've seen you in Sheepy Stream. That's where I've I've seen you a lot. I know you've been in other streams, but that's, that's the thing that's the place I've seen you 
the most. So welcome. Um, yes, you mod for Sheepy. And speaking of Sheepy, everybody check out Black Sheep Meat. She's a variety crafter. She crochets, knits, cross stitch, diamond paints. Um, she's learned to tat from um, traveling tatters, enabled her to tat. She's a degenerate. That's her word. She's a degenerate and enabler. So, uh, lots of chaos over there. It's a good time. I haven't been in her stream in a while. So, definitely check her out. She's recently part of Team Moco Loco. She's pretty cool. I definitely enjoy Sheepy's channel. Um... When I decided to do this, I was thinking about the strings people use to tie kimonos, so that's what I'm going for. Oh, that's... Isn't that called an obi? I think that's called an obi. You're an agent of said chaos. <laughs> I like that. We can be a little chaotic here, nothing compared to Sheepy's channel, but, um... We have our moments, like earlier we had a little chaotic moment. We are 18 plus, so there have been a lot of off-color topics. <laughs> it's all good. So how are you, Notewood? Um, do you stream? I'm not certain if you stream or not. And I know I think you've I've seen some stuff that you've posted in Sheepy's Discord, and I don't remember exactly what type of uh, art or craft you do. No, I think that's the long strip of fabric. Oh, okay, okay, lilac. I'm sorry. You do paracord. You you use paracord. That's it. Yes, yes, yes. I remember. I have seen, um, I think I've seen some of your paracord, I think they're keychains or lanyards. It's a while ago when I was, was in Sheepy's stream and she was sharing stuff in the Discord and I think I remember seeing, seeing that. But we mostly crochet on here. Come the new year, we will be doing other fiber arts. We will be doing, get in frame. We will be doing some cross stitch, some embroidery. I'm gonna learn how to tat on and off stream. I'm gonna try to get better at knitting. We're gonna do some fiber prep and spinning, even though I am nowhere near an expert at using the spinning wheel. I'm good at fiber prep. That's the easy part. Spinning wheel, I have, I have two electric spinning wheels, and I need more practice with them. So I will not be teaching how to do that. I might kind of inform what I'm doing, but not necessarily teaching. Why is this round taking a little bit longer than other rounds? I'm going to continue this project tomorrow, getting sleepy. It's 2 a.m. I'm going to continue watching on mobile until you fall asleep. That's fine. Yeah, I know. I totally understand. This is, I'm only on round 11. And I understand if you're getting tired and sleepy and plus the time difference. It's only a little after 8 p.m. here. It feels so much later. For some reason, it feels like midnight. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Okay, Fairy Dust, if you're around, you can do the frog command. I got a frog out. Just this section. Well, it's only one round. Part of a round. So it's not a full round. I got a frog out back to here. I think eventually I learn to crochet basics, see what I can apply... <laughs> What I know with paracord and not work. Yeah. They are they are 
kind of related. And if you need any help or pointers or anything with crochet, I am more than willing to help people learn. Mostly what my uh, my channel is usually about is education. Not tonight. I'm doing this um, ghost oily pattern. It is a pattern by the designer um, Marsha Glasner. I think that's her name. It's a free pattern. So I thought it was cute. I've already done one. I'm just doing it again. And this is the one that I did the other day. I'm making the exact same thing. So we're going to have two of them. I don't know. I'll probably keep one and then maybe uh, sell the other one. Who knows? So, kind of cute. Festive. Your family brought, bought pizza. Yum! What, uh... What toppings? That's a discussion question. What does everybody like on their pizza? Ham and pineapple? Ah, you're one of those. <laughs> I'm okay with ham. I'm, I don't like pineapple on my pizza. I like grilled pineapple, but um, I don't like pineapple on pizza with the sauce and usually either just cheese or sausage and pepperoni. Uh, Notewood, Notewood says, learn, learn new ways to wrap my head around. Oh, what? The crochet? Yeah. Grilled chicken and mushroom. I like like a supreme pizza. You don't have strong opinions about, about pizza toppings? That's fine. I like supreme. Um, pepperoni, sausage, mushrooms, onions, black olives, no green pepper. No green pepper. I don't like cooked green pepper. And I prefer thin crust. I'll eat regular crust too, but... I mean, I'll eat pretty... No, not pretty much. I'll, I'll eat pretty much any type of crust. But I prefer a thin crust. I don't... I don't care for a pineapple on my pizza, and I don't want anchovies. Go to a local New York style place, family owned, yum. As long as there's no onions or fish, you're good. Ah. I'm an onion fan. I'm an onion fanatic. I love onions. Hot pepperoni or chili salami bacon and sardines, garlic crust. Well, you can have everything's okay if you can have the sardines. But uh, yeah, garlic crust. Oh yeah, it's Papa jo Papa John's. If I have to get to get a chain, okay. Papa John's is all, all right. Go with onions, just not as the main part. But you do, you don't oh you don't you don't support the pineapple on pizza. I'm with you there. Oh, you do you do support? Okay, I'm sorry. You do support? Okay, I read that wrong. Yeah, not, not something I like. For me, if it's a chain, I do like Pizza Hut. Papa John's is okay. Lots of acidity, yeah. But again, I like grilled, grilled pineapple. I think it has to do with the tomato sauce. The tomato sauce and the pineapple together. It's just, no. And I like I like acidic foods. It's just a combo of it. As far as I'm concerned, just another option. My favorite chain is Little Caesars is pretty good. 
And Little Caesars is uh, affordable. It's pretty decent for being cheaper pizza. I don't really care for Domino's. Why can't I do chains? Why can't I do chain stitch? Honor and mention is Costco pizza. I think I've only ever had Costco pizza once. It was pretty good. Oh my god, I forgot, I forgot to take your meds. Better five hours late than not at all. Oh yeah. Um, take your meds. If anybody needs to take your meds, definitely do that. I take mine in the morning. I'm pretty good about remembering. You got morning and night meds. Ah, okay. Yeah, definitely. If you need, if anybody needs to take their meds, definitely take them. Domino's more like Dama Blow. My yeah. Got to keep the brain goblins in the cage. Yeah, keep them in the cage. I'm supposed to take over the counter allergy meds, but I don't most days. Yeah, I had to take a um, over-the-counter decongestant the other day because of the change in the weather. But it's not something I have to take long-term. It's just that, that one day because it's actually Sunday. That's why I didn't stream Sunday. I felt like an elephant was sitting on my head. All right, so that was round 11, and now 12. Oh, I didn't even mention this. I should have mentioned this a while ago. Mondays and Tuesdays here in October, we're doing Halloween theme. So this is our ghost week. So that's what we're going to do Mondays and Tuesdays. On Saturdays, we do a blanket for Project Linus. Project Linus is a nonprofit in the U.S. and Canada that accepts handmade, brand new blankets, either crocheted, knitted, quilted. It's a bunch of other ones, other forms of blankets they'll take. And they donate them to children, 18, 0 to 18, that are in need, either homeless, traumatized, severely ill, that all of that type of thing. And so it goes to a good cause. Sundays... We work on, we have a long-term project. We're working on a temperature blanket. So each day of the week, I record the high temperature in my area. And that will determine what color the row will be. So that's going to, we started that in January and it goes through the rest of the year. I didn't do most of it in the um, summer because it was too hot. So I'm picking that back up again. And Thursdays, we do Throwback Thursdays. That's when we do vintage patterns. We use crochet thread. Well, there's crochet thread done in a vintage pattern. And we have a permanent special guest host on Thursdays. Her name is Granny Karen Cakes Moreno. She's an elderly lady. She's feisty. She doesn't take lip off of anybody. And she makes some pretty vintage patterns. So that is pretty much what we, we do here so far. Again, it will change as the year goes on and into the new year. It's a good way to describe a pressure headache, yes. I've, I've always described it that way. Any pizza without pineapple cut in wedges, not stupid squares? So, yes. What Grammy's talking about, there are certain places in certain parts of this country. Hey there, carrots, nits. How are you? Um... There are certain parts of this country, they'll take a round pizza and they'll cut it into squares. Which I don't understand. I don't I don't get it. But um 
Oh, I'm doing good. I'm feeling much better than I was um, Sunday. I had some sinus issues, but um, I'm doing a whole lot better. Uh, Sue says, getting prescriptions for long-time meds is easy where I live because you only need to get it prescribed once, and then your regular doctor can purchase stock and give them to you once you run out. Nice. Um... Square pe square computes is the devil. Yeah. Okay. Now, if if the the whole pizza itself is a rectangle or a square, I understand cutting into squares. Like Little Caesars has that whatever it was. I don't know if they still have it. It was like a, it was all rectangular. I get that. That makes sense. But no, it's a round pizza, and then they cut it in to squares. So you'll have a piece in the center that's a square and they do doesn't have any crust. How do you hold on to it? But then the outer pieces, you get these little little wedges, little it's, I don't get it. I don't get it, but hey. Yeah, it makes no sense. It makes no sense to me at all. But just the way it is. They do that here, and it pisses me off. Yeah. It's, I've only experienced it in the upper Midwest, like Wisconsin and Minnesota. But, yeah, it's like, it makes no sense. I don't, I don't know why they do it that way. <laughs> like, yes, you eat the crust, but you also need the crust to hold on to. And I want a full pizza piece. I don't want just... A square or like a multiple and I get it certain pizzas if they got a lot of toppings and all depending on how it is if it's really messy you can eat it with a fork I don't usually eat pizza with a fork but they cut it into a round pizza into squares you have to eat it with a fork weird people from weird places do weird things Better yet, give the whole pizza and I'll eat it all. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> okay. That was round. Did I lose track of what round I'm on? I'm a weird person, but I don't do that. Yeah, that's... Six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, we're on twelve. Two, three, double into the same. Let me get this repeat started so I can figure out 17 and then two in the next. Let me count to see if there's 17. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 7. Yes, we're good. But yeah, I experienced that a few years ago when I was in the upper Midwest, and it wasn't just one place. Three different places, and they weren't, and all three were not in the same town, and they all did it that way. Just roll the whole thing up, call it Stromboli. Yeah, need to put this plate away and wash it. Okay, we'll be here. We're on round number twelve. So when we get done this, we're roughly kind of halfway done. I am considering going a little bit longer, and we might end up having to do the rest of this tomorrow. I wasn't planning on doing a stream tomorrow night, but this is getting, taking a little bit longer. Again, it's a 25 round piece, so we might do that. So, Carrot Nets, how are you doing? Um, those of you who aren't following Carrot Net, Carrots Nets, check out their stream. They knit. Right now, they you're working on some Christmas sweaters for your family members. Let me double check. Two in 
you know, two in that. Working on your your sleeve. And then we're going to chain three. Two in the beginning. Wait, chain three? Okay. I'm getting confused, but that's that's nothing normal. I mean, that that's nothing out of the ordinary. That's normal. They're wh it's whooping your butt. Mm. Yeah. Um, I am determined to get better and learn more about knitting come the new year. Not anywhere near to the point of making a garment. I haven't even made a sweater in crochet, which I've got one earmarked. Fairy Dust had found a cardigan pattern that I'm going to try out. But um, for knit, I just need to get more experience with the knitting stitches before I attempt to make a garment. Your back, wash your hands, because only animals crochet with greasy hands. Have yet to rip back to see what I did wrong from Saturday. Ooh. You had a uh, a boo-boo on Saturday where you, had, you messed up. And yes, Lilac, we, we wash our hands, but we don't wash our hooks. Because... This is the home of the Proud Dirty Hookers. We don't wash hooks. Yes. Somebody, there are people that wash their hooks. You're a dirty hooker. You're, you're in the right place. Emotional day. And tried to work on your sweater. I understand. Well... Hopefully, you'll be able to find what you did wrong, and hopefully it's an easy uh, fix. If I wash my hands, then in theory, the hook stays clean. Yeah. Those that wash their hooks are probably the same people that cut their pizza rock. It may be. Maybe. Let me just double check that I put two stitches in the beginning and the end of each repeat. So if not, I'm going to be upset. Oh, we're good. I just got to find the right stitch. Stitches are tiny and plus they're tight because I crochet on the tighter side. Unless it's handed, unless I hand it to my cousins, then it needs to be washed. Oh, okay. My eyes are starting to go blurry trying to find the looking at all these stitches. Won't be working with a greasy hook, yeah. No greasy hooks. When I get to the end of this round, I'll lay this flat and I'll I'll show what it, it's looking like so far. We're still working on the uh, 
the body part of the ghosts. We haven't reached their arms yet. And this is round 12 out of 25. So, just about halfway. Early enough, my hooks are never dirty, but when I play games with even my fingertips sweat, and then I need to clean your keyboard and mouse regularly. Well, what type of, um, what materials your hooks made out of? Do you use metal hooks? Because maybe the uh, oils in your fingers react differently to metal than they do to the plastic of the keyboard. It's not the same as mine. I'm assuming the um, hook you're using for this project, a 1.5 millimeter, is probably metal because it needs to be sturdy and strong. Could be because I'm not stressed while crocheting. That Actually, that's true. Yeah, you're probably not sweating as much as you are if you're intensely playing a game. Because usually hobbies like crocheting, knitting are supposed to be relaxing. It's not always the case. So that kind of makes sense. Almost done round number 12. I think what we're going to end up doing is we're going to do one more round. And after we do the next round, then we will write out. Most of my hooks have a soft plastic. Kind of like this. This is kind of like a soft rubbery type plastic. Somewhat soft. It's not super soft, but... Quilting is supposed to be relaxing, too, but not always like today. Yeah, what you were describing did not sound like fun. Okay, that was round number 12. Let me double check. Chain three. Two, three. Two more in the same one. Oh, I was going to show you what this looked like. Let's do that. Oh my god, 200, 220 change is going to take a while. Yeah. <laughs> Especially if you're doing it long ways. So, this is what we have so far. We're starting to get the body of the... Uh, of the ghost. It almost looks like a spiral, like a peppermint candy. It's not going to be peppermint candy. But you got three sections finished correctly. 94 to go. You can do it. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. That one stitch did not go where it needed to go. Neither one of those stitches went where they were supposed to go. Two. Three. 
then 19, and then 3 in the last. So let me see if we have 19. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. You're going to hop off for now. Have a good time zone, everyone. Okay, I will chat with you later. Again, like I said, oh, you, you said you're not going to... Was it you or Llama? I think it was Llama. I'm sorry. Um, I'm probably going to do one more round, and then we're going to call it a night. And then tomorrow, we're not scheduled tomorrow, but we will probably just have an unscheduled stream tomorrow night, 6 p.m. Um, Eastern time, to finish this off. So, have a good night. Get some sleep. I will chat with you later. Thanks for the lark, Note no, Wood. I appreciate it. It's 5.50 for you. Need to find another, another stream. Yeah, like I said, um, when we get done this round, we're probably going to raid out to somebody. I'm going to see who is streaming. And, um... We'll do that. But I definitely want to get progress on this. Do three into this stitch. That's Spy Guys streaming, I think. It, yes, I shouted them out. Yes, I will. That's a possibility. Are they, um, wait a minute. Chain two. Are they crocheting or diamond painting? I know that's, that's what they do on their channel. I'm just not certain what they're doing tonight. Not crocheting, cross stitch. C words. Words are difficult. Again, us Twitch streamers, you hit that start streaming button and you forget how to speak. They're doing cross stitch? Okay. So that's a possibility. I don't. That's fine. Spelling is not, um, we don't correct spelling. You're not getting graded on it. True story. Speaking is hard. Yes. I have coined the term in the past week or so that us Twitch streamers, when we can't, we lose the ability to speak when we go live. I call that Twitch-itis. Two. Yes, we're chaining two. Okay. There's no way I'm counting this again. <clears throat> if I leave a stitch or two, you're... So, yeah, so be it. Oh. Speaking of losing a stitch, I need to... need to put three in there, not two. I get excited and lose my words. Yes. Yes, I get tongue-tied. Especially if I'm being raided. If somebody raids me, I get really tongue-tied and I forget what I'm supposed to be saying. And I keep meaning to write down a little like cheat sheet or a little like outline of topics to uh to hit on with if I get rated. Performance anxiety, yeah.
I'm getting some speed on this. Not that it's a race. I pretty much the same thing. Well, it is the same thing for you just it's a repeat, so you kind of memorize it. Once I get started on each round, I don't have to refer to that pattern and That's what slows me up, is referring back and forth between the pattern and my work. I have two separate pimples right on my nose where my glasses sit. Ooh. I hate those. Not, not comfortable. I didn't ask to not be able to see. Alcohol, the bridge of your glasses. Yes, alcohol uh, wipes or um, swab it with like a Q-tip and some rubbing alcohol. Because that'll help clean uh, the oils and... I don't think I've ever cleaned the frames on a pair of glasses. So your uh, your hooks and your 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 eyeglass frames are dirty. <laughs> Alrighty. Hopefully I'm still in frame. Yeah, I'm still in frame. I'm always concerned about being in frame because I tend to drift to the left. So at any time if I'm not in frame, call me out and say, hey, get back in frame. I know... Uh, Clay Miko was here, she would say. Get back in frame. <laughs> Can't see you. Hopefully, I'm still in frame. Every crafting YouTuber slash streamer. Yes, yes. Two, third one, oh, one more repeat to do, and then we will put this away for the night. Your husband stole your scissors. Um, what type of scissor? Like, what are your scissors used for? You're shaky today. Maybe you should lay off the Mountain Dew. Yeah. Don't uh, don't let it let it affect your health. Because I know Grammy is a quilter and seamstress, and you don't touch your fabric scissors. Ha <laughs> ha! Don't overdo it. But yeah. You don't touch her fabric scissors. There's other scissors you can use, but definitely don't touch the fabric ones. My grandma would kill me if I use her fabric scissors on anything else. Yes, because... If you use fabric scissors on anything else, like paper or whatever, 
it will dull them really quick. The living room scissors are fair game, but the craft room scissors, I will cut you and my kitchen sheet. Yes! <laughs> oh, I totally get it. I totally get it. Alrighty. So that is round number 13. I'm going to have to write a little note to remember that. But this is what we've got. If it's in the craft room or stash, stay away. Yes. Unless it's, uh, he tried using your hankles on plastic. Yeah, I'd flip out too. So this is what we have so far. We're getting our little ghost body shaped. So we're at round 13 of 25. This will be, when this is done, this will have to be blocked because we're getting, it's pulling up in the center. Plus I still have, that's, actually I'll do that now. I'm gonna pull my uh, magic circle tight. And while I'm here, I'm gonna weave in my center because we're not gonna need the center anymore. Trying to thread this needle. This is a smaller needle. This is more like a um, embroidery needle. But I don't want to use a really big yarn needle on this because it's fine thread. Grandma said I better not touch her her gingers. Yep, Grammy had gingers, or I think she still does. Yeah. Don't touch them. Don't even look at them. <laughs> Actually, during the pandemic, we were making face masks and giving them away. And mostly I was, I was cutting up the fabric with a rotary cutter. But at some point, was it that? It was something, whatever it was. It could have been some another project, whatever it was. Grammy let me use her gingers. And I'm like, um, are you sure? Are you sure? Like, <laughs> so, uh, I was, I was honored. All right. So I weaved in my, uh, my center tail. So don't worry about that later. So we will pick this up tomorrow, uh, about 6 p.m. Eastern time. I mean, I'm East Coast United States. So 6 p.m. Eastern time, we will finish it. So it'll look like the one that's above me. And it will look like this. So I think we're about like here or so. We're almost ready for the arms and then the face. Okay. Let's switch this on over. Neighbor, you're East Coast also? Yep, I'm East Coast. Alrighty. Let me check this real quick. Oh, they're on. Oh. Okay, there's a lot of people on. They're doing cross stitch. I think they're doing crochet. I know that's cross stitch. Um... We've raided her last night, so we're not going to go there. I know who we're going to raid. All right. So, again, thank you, everybody, for hanging out with me tonight and sitting and chilling, watching me work on this uh, cute ghost doily. Um, 
my socials. So I have a YouTube channel. All of my streams are uploaded to the channel. After I'm done streaming, they're unedited, so you can go back and watch previous streams. I've got about 140 or so videos over there. Mostly crochet. The beginning ones from last December are some cute little ornaments. Um, I think there's a quilted... Quilted. It's not really quilted. It's, it has a look of quilted uh, Christmas ornament. There is a gnome made out of yarn. And then there's this folded fabric, no sew. Um, I think they call it a Scandinavian star. So definitely check that out. Plus, again, all the crochet streams that I've done. I also have a Discord. Check out the Discord. We um, post pictures of our... And I didn't do that tonight. I'll have to do that tomorrow. I'll have to remember... Um, to share Discord tomorrow. We post pictures of our whips and our foes. We ask questions, and it could be any type of craft, any type of hobby, just anything at all. So it doesn't have to be crochet, even though that's kind of what my channel is at the moment. So there's some resources over there. There's people to ask questions. Hopefully there's somebody that'll be able to answer them for you. And that's also a good place to keep track of when I'm live. Because when I go live, it'll pop up an announcement saying that I've done so. Also, check out the merch store. I've got I've recently added three new items. A new t-shirt design, a stainless steel water bottle design, and an accessory pouch. So there's three different designs over there of those three items. Um, check that out. That's another way to help my stream. If you're so inclined, and there was one more thing. Maybe not. Anyway, I'll be on again tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Eastern. Um, also, keep also Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern here on the stream will be get Granny Karen Kicks Moreno with a throw a vintage pattern. All she told me was fillet, fillet crochet. So, we will see what she has up her sleeve. With that being said, we're going to go raid Vintage SoGal. So, definitely stick around for the raid. Go check her out. She, I think, is working on a... Um, let me see what she's doing. I think it's... Yeah, it's a cross-stitch. She's doing this octopus cross-stitch... Um, pattern. Am I doing something special for the Friday the 13th? Is that this Friday? Oh, no, I'm not doing anything. I'm not streaming Friday. So, the answer is no. <laughs> Did you really realize that it was uh, the 13th? Yeah, I have nothing planned for this Friday. So, again, everybody, go and stick around for the raid and show Vintage some love. She is a variety crafter. She cross stitches. She crochets. She's done mosaic crochet. She plays some games. She might have done other things, but mainly cross stitch and crochet that I've seen her do. She is part of Team Moco Loco. She is uh, pretty cool, pretty chill over there. So send, show her some love, follow her, and uh, I will chat with you all tomorrow. And as I always say,